Today's just a wild, windy day and I'm just going to spend the next, well, probably 48 hours dipping in and out of lots of chores at home and uh, get on with things. And do you know, this project with the unicorn stocking has been such a delight. Um, thinking about everybody out there making it, thinking about the people who will receive them, you know, it's it's a joy. So thank you very much. You've kept me going through it. Um, and I will honestly make a dinosaur one if Richard won't. So now I'm going to show you the um, images of the next stages. So you're using the same long and short soft shading techniques as you used at the base of the design. So that should have really warmed you up. And just don't be frightened of the shape. So the next few photographs will show you um, how I've come up through the original white colour with the cream and worked a layer of long and then shorter at both ends. And then just followed the shape and the um, direction of that first layer of stitches so that you can just ease your way just don't worry about it. Just take a little bit of it at a time. Just um, you can make a, a you know short area rather than thinking of covering the whole body um, with the second layer of colour. Just section it up into short areas so that you make a stitch down the middle of, of an area and then work to the right and then to the left or vice versa. And then just think about the uh, legs in the background of the area. So you're working the uh, hind leg and the foreleg on the off side of the unicorn. So you're working the same um, in the same order as you did before, working the background before the foreground. And then uh, we're going to work the third colour next. And I'm really excited about that and um, we're going to add some bling. So we're going to finish this um, unicorn and I'm also going to finish the um, the other alternative unicorn with the dappled colours for the um, person who's run out of threads on that one. So hopefully you're managing with all your different colours and I can't wait to see the combinations and the exciting things you're going to do with it. So if you've heard a rather strange snorey noise in the back of this voiceover, it's actually Pepper who's decided to sit on my knee. And it's such a rare treat to have this very shy cat coming near me. I'm not going to disturb her now, but I will get back to my stitching later, I promise. So see you tomorrow.